ready to go out and catch me a man. <laughs> All right now, y'all, get outside and leave your paw in peace for once. Come on with you. Get out. Come on. We ain't never gonna get hitched. I swear nobody ever comes near this place. We's all gonna die on a fenster with it. <laughs> They'll be about it. It's worse than every day. Worse. <laughs> I ain't never seen such an anger. Get so I was afraid to even step in my old door there. Man! I'm out! 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 I'm out!
yeah, he's a she somebody or a he somebody. <laughs> you better think before you speak. This is important. Well, the way I get it, it was a man. <gasps> a man up in the holler? <laughs> what are we waiting for? Watch out, Bob!
too, if I see. Oh, you been reading those books again, ain't she? Now, where's she been getting those books, anyway? Well, that last book she got, she got from the Widow Birkin. Oh, <laughs> the Black Widow? You'll stay away from that evil woman. Why do you two carry on so about the Widow Birkins? Oh, we have our reasons. Yeah, you stay away from that evil woman. She's a black in the bottom of the nation. Yeah, and I'm here to tell you, she's one of them voodoo, voodoo bayou women of the swamps of Louisiana. Yeah, no sis. We've got to get out there to warn the people about in the holler about the intended invasion. We saw. Uh, we saw. Hey, shoot first, ask questions later. We saw. We saw. You can say that again. We Now, you and I need to have a conversation about these books you've been getting from the winter person. Now, Mom told you she wasn't going to hurt me none. So just give me a book. Coming through! Now what? <laughs> now what you doing here? What was them two old hands talking about? <laughs> Nothing but their usual. What brings you here? I done got a letter for you. For me? Nah. For me? Nah. <laughs> now nah, it's for your ever loving. Oh, it's for Paul. Well, who's it from? Well, there, there it is. It's for the government. Oh, when did it come? Well, the first time was about three months ago. <laughs> the first time. <laughs> when you came here with the wrong address on it. But you know it was for Paul. Makes no difference. We had to send it back. It came with the wrong address. We sent it back. Then they sent it back with the right address, but not enough stamps. <laughs> but you know it was for Paul. Now we had to send it back again. We sent it back with the right address and the right amount of postage, but it was too beat up to deliver. I wonder why. But you know it was for Paul. Well, we sent it back again, and they went and stuck it in another envelope and sent it here. How do you know it's the same letter? Uh, According to this address. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So this is for Paul, and it's from the government. Yeah. Well, you know, I said, get on with my roof. I got some mail here. I bet you I had no more in a couple of weeks. <laughs> rush, rush, rush. I swear I don't know what this country's coming to. Might even be a couple of months. Well, I guess I'll get along. You know, it's like a fella can't even get a nap in these days. <laughs> well, we'll see you next month. Okay. I'll see you all later. <laughs> well, there sure is a hell of a lot of government in these parts these days. I better get Paul. I hope it ain't Hey, Paul! <laughs> I was just looking to see if I was going to get tromped on again. Well, so if you just stay put for a second, we wouldn't have to trace it out after she had got something to tell you. Hang on, hang on. Let me get this straight. Sorry. <laughs> you mean to tell me that male lady Dandelion Blatch had a letter for me from the government? Came with the wrong address, so she sent it back. She got the letter back again with the right address, but not enough stamps, so she sent it back again. She got it back again with the right stamps and the right address, but it was all beat up toward the header and she couldn't deliver, so she sent it back again. And now she's got it back again, and I'm just now getting it. <laughs> Why can't you just keep your big mouth shut? <laughs> something come loose, banging on the cabinet. Well, I swear that's coming through the front door. Oh, I was afraid of that. <laughs> well, hang on now, Pop. You don't know who's outside there. It's a stranger for a fact. You ever notice people we know just sort of walks in? <laughs> Has that come to my notice 
Yes, sir. Come on, Eddie. Good afternoon. My name is Marcus Slidell, and I, I, who are you? I don't remember. <laughs> well, I think you said your name was Marcus somebody. That certainly sounds familiar. Yes, Slidell. Marcus Slidell. In what business? Hey, I come representing the United States government. <laughs> Voted once. He never been the same. <laughs> now, Paul, you can't be just killing this, folks. Charlemagne, go out in the kitchen and get this young man something to drink. <laughs> Charlemagne, Charlie! Sorry, Mom. Uh, would you care for something to uh, swig? No, thank you. I'm not sure I know how to swig. <laughs> Where if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. I got some sweet cider in the kitchen. I'll get you some, youngin. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh no, not another one. Wait, what? Stop opening his kitchen. Yeah, now he got something all right. He got the anger. Ain't <laughs> never seen it come on so fast except for me and Ma. <laughs> the anger? Yeah. You was the starting to state your business. Yeah, I guess I'm going to start it again. Yeah. 
here. We need to go. We need to get help. The fuck is the beat on you? Did you really shoot me? And Jersey to boot. Now, where is he? He's done gone. Done gone. Done gone where? Done! 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 Y'all found that Boston nest on the back. You 
right for the hooten holler caller. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not just the hooten holler. See, my paper also cover other little communities, such as the town of Titus Waller. You write for the hooten holler, Titus Waller caller. <laughs> Not so fast. Don't forget Crow's Crawler. Just what is the name of your newspaper? My card.
This isn't going to be as easy as I first thought. I better call him a G. Barbara, it's Marcus. Let me talk to the G. We just gotta wait out here till you get finished. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Slattery? Marcus. I'm afraid it's not gonna be as easy as we first thought. Why is he talking into his bill, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. <coughs> you see, there seems to be a rivalry between the two families. You're not gonna believe this, but. Well, it's a few. Oh, it's one of them walkie-talkie things. He's talking to his captain. He's already setting up for the invasion. You better send down the whole team. I need all the reinforcements I can get. He's calling up his army! Get ready to set upon us! Pearly boo for all, say. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I be a mistake? You can get away from us. We must arm ourselves. And now, sister dear. <laughs> People come and go in the strangest ways around this place. <laughs> Just glaucoma? <laughs> what is it, Mom? Oh, she's coming. That's all I can get out of her, too. <laughs> Who's the coming, Mom? Her! <laughs> the Black Widow. Good day, Teddy. Just rise away, child. And what a fine day it is, too. Well, well, well. Well, we don't got some new blood in the holler. Take him if you want. Leave me and mine be. Hi, Marcus. Slide out. Is that good or bad? <laughs> well, that ain't never good, boy. Look away. It's not tell your name, maybe, but their currency blood run deep within. <gasps> she knows, Pa. She knows. And they had to conjure up that one. His sister Frida Dunn told me. She was a hot putty on her being chased by her and wasps. Well, what brings you to our doorstep, Widow Perkins? I come on account of how some, some, by the way of the woods and by the voices of the unseen. <laughs> and to get my book back, I figured. Here it is. And you watch yourself, child. She ain't gonna hurt me none, Ma. Well, you just get on out back and leave her to her ways. We got no truck with you, Leader Perkins. Take heed and leave us be. I was just getting a book. Evil way. Does somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Ye are the root of the undoing in the holler, bringing which you a pestilence to apply. He's from the government. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> no need to be afeard. She ain't gonna do you no harm. Whatever. I need to get back to work. Mr. Herbert about selling that land. I just can't get him to take a notice of me. I wish there was some way I could get that pillar. Wish. Chad, does you have the hankering? I does for sure. <laughs> now, you know, you got ways everybody in the holler knows about. Now, I'm not saying I believe in none of it. Only... Only what, Chad? Well, there's got to be some way you can get that feller to take a notice of me. You want him to tell <clears throat> on you? To adore you from afar? To loo and spoon you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have three potions, every one of which conjure up by me, for three very different but powerful effects upon who it is you set your cap for. Well, what is they? Poultry taters there? Amazing! I was training her on account of I was opening up a branch office. 
<laughs> Where? The branch office by the branch, of course. Hey, I dumped out as a dead bat we can use. We never think about that. Now, use being the spooner, or uh, needing the love spell for a bat. <laughs> well, I have my number one. That's when your candidate starts to take notice and starts to being kindly to you. I has number two which has him following you around and starting to face with anyone who looks at you. And then there's number three. Last one I want! Don't you even want to hear about it? No! You just whoop it up for me, and I'll settle up with you later.
starting to like me? You, you and me he's done talk to. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I was a little more attractive. Yeah, and I was the one who tried to tie him up. Just be still, can't you? Sorry. Oh no, it's that black winter's helper. Uh, what, what is you doing here? She, uh, she's here for me, Mom. For you? What did you got yourself off into, child? You know what the big sister says about her. I know, I know. Um. Just uh, telling Maisie of all the wrong that she was doing by hanging out with that little Perkins. Well, that's better. All right, y'all, uh, the rest of y'all, get back in your room and leave them to be. Here we go again. Boy. And what's that supposed to mean? I'm going to go out back with the car. You? Watch yourself, child. Don't you worry none about me, Mom. What does you mean teaching me the wrong size of doing? Don't you know how hard it is for a career woman these days? <laughs> I was just trying to get rid of them. Oh, oh. Now, you got that potion? All done up special, just for you. Oh, good. Do I drink it or do I get him to drink it? Drink it, child. Do you know what's in there? Yeah. What am I supposed to do with it? You're supposed to get him to wear it around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? I just delivered the function. It doesn't come in any directions. But uh, one thing I can tell you is uh, once he's got it on his neck, Watch out. <laughs> There's got to be some way to close this deal. Say, what if I could end the feud? Say, Marcus, I had something made special for you. So stay away from me. But, but I got it for you. Stay, stay away from me. But it's going to help you out. How would be a wonderful place to be right now. But Marcus... Or that's it. I have been shot, I have been threatened, I have been stung, and I have been scalped. What are you planning on doing next? Skinning me? But I particularly like you! Just stay away from me! What the hell the ruckus going on in here? What's all the noise going on out here? Marcus! <laughs> there you are! The team? You're already here? Yeah, we took the job break. Let the taxpayer do it for <laughs> <laughs>
eat, get something to drink, don't be smoking, don't lack in your back in here. Go use that house if you want. <laughs>
shit. Well, I don't rightly know. One thing's for sure, she's on our side. Don't you worry about me, Marcus, neither. 
Oh, uh, you two kids don't worry me none. You tickle me a mite bit though. So, uh, you and Mom have words? We chatted a bit. Can you see? Hey, I'm trying to sing. <laughs> what? Well, I don't look no different to you. Why? Did you do something to your hair? No, but I done something with yours, don't you feel it? I feel like I'm wasting my time not getting done to business. That's all? Why? Maybe it takes a minute for it to take hold. Oh. <laughs> I'm wasting time. I need to get back to camp. Maybe the guys don't have time. I'll have more luck if we call in. That's mine. It's fine. But it's not mine. Say Charlie. Yes? How'd you like to come with me? That's more like it. <laughs> and you was ever so kind to ask. I don't know. I just sort of... Had a hankering. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ma, you was just a flap in your gums. You know, good well ain't no good ever come from no city fella. But Pa. And I know what you woman folk have been up to too. He was in league with that black widow. But you know what the big sister says about her. Out of my way! These <laughs> <laughs> people are crazy! <laughs> <laughs> There you go again, woman. I ain't nothing beautiful about it. 
donkey here, son. I ain't selling my land, so you might as well go on and get it. I don't care. And I, what? I don't care if you sell us the land or not. I found other things around the hall that are with a whole lot more. There you go, Pa. You got your way. Got my way. I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, I was going to explain it to you pure and simple. Now, Ma! Pa! Get in there! Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, wonderful, Charlie. Yeah, just wonderful. <coughs> Charlie, it's wrong. Oh, nothing. It worked out just like I wanted. Just like I wanted. Winter Perkins, how wonderful to see you. Do you happen to know who can marry folks around these parts? Well, things is working out just fine, I see. Uh, do you mind if Mark or uh, the Winter and I have words, please? Of course not, I understand. <laughs>
sure can't wear out of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marcus, about that pouch. Marcus? Paul, where's Marcus? Maybe he's done gone. Let's hope he's done gone. Please tell me he's done gone. Paul? You didn't do nothing to him, did you? I was in there playing rag to your mom's bulldog. Coming through! Have you seen Marcus? Oh, please don't stop me now. I just finally put some distance between me and... There he is! Oh, no. Oh. Thanks for taking him up so I get a hold. Now, sweet thing, how about you and me get to know one another better? I should have gone into my dad's linoleum business. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to sell us that land? I ain't selling my land. That's good enough for me. Excuse me, I got to quit my job. Well, let's go together. Somebody get me a rock. Quick. Oh, I feel for you. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll notify your mother. Uh, Good! It's about time I met up with your phone. <laughs> <coughs> Do something. Uh, we could call in the National Guard. Have you seen Marcus? No. But when I do, I am going to punch him so hard. You stopped to wait for me. I knew he was falling for me. Oh. I tripped on a wall. <laughs> okay, Marcus done disappeared. And I bet you one of them girds he's got him. What? Oh, Mom, Marcus is gone. And I bet you it was one of them girdsies. Why, are you gonna go get him, Pa? Go get him? First thing they ever done all the years I know them that I like. <laughs> you want I should go get him. Oh, Mom. <laughs> What is it, child? Oh, well, something done happened to Marcus, and I bet it was that, that spell I had the winter fork and put on him. Spell, huh? I just, uh, had the winter do that.
<laughs> What's the man doing behind the couch? Hi, it looks like. That's what I like about him. Now hush up, Jonas. June's about to commence. Wait, what? Yeah, them McGurnsies is a coming, and it's sure gonna be a showdown. Good, good. And another thing, Charlie. I can come back. Yeah, wait, get out of the way, waiter. Okay, so that pouch? Well, he never put it on, so he was never under no spell. That it is for true and for sure. It is. <laughs> you watch it, Buggy. Whoa, get out of the way. <laughs> Uh, no, Pa, if you keep ordering books around here, there ain't never going to be no bloodshed. And we're, <coughs> what would I be? Sincerely, we got more than we can handle right now. Now, I'd be highly obliged if you would and just... And I would highly be obliged if you was to come on outside. Yes, sir. We need lots of room for people. You wanted I should just talk to him. No talking to me, Don, only few. Wait! I'm the one you want. What? I'm the one who brought you into this whole thing, not Pa. If you're gonna shoot somebody, shoot me. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of bravery, son. Does for a fact. Now, does you want it wide eyed? Well, maybe I could tie a leg around your eyes. <laughs> Can't you guys do something? Our insurance doesn't cover this. <laughs> no. I'm the one who started this. I need to be the one to finish it. Let's go. Oh no. It's... It, it, it is. Well, who is it? It's the slavery. Oh, the chief is here. Now we're all going to get it. Just 
be packing. I suggest we run. Good idea. Now, hold on, we have a plate right here. Now, wait a minute, Pa. If all the girls go on out and they get hitched, they're going to be moving out the house. Go ahead, old. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I have enough food to last me for the rest of the year. Hey, son. <laughs> okay, Chief, I understand that you went down to the county records and you figured all that out. What I don't understand is how did you figure out who sold whom what? Easy. I got here earlier today and I found a most charming gentleman to tell me the whole story. Who? Why, he's right out here. Sugar? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done figure he always was the charmer of the family. Well, yeah. <laughs> all the no. Pa, uh, let's just leave these lovebirds alone. Yeah, I know. Back to my room. <laughs> I sure do miss the dude today, but they the sick. In there while we Say, Sweepy, how about you and I taking a little stroll? Now, let me get this straight. You say that this is for good luck? <laughs>